at the Johannesburg Council meeting tonight. That's after disagreements over the elections of oversight committee chairpersons. The council convened its first sitting of the year today. Our reporter, Govan Whittles, is monitoring all the drama for us. He joins us now live. So, Govan, we saw a little earlier after that break that there was still more chaos and contention around a secret ballot. What's happening now? And uh, the worst of it was yet to come. Just after we did that crossing, some of the councillors went up to the speaker's chair once again and uh, sort of forced him out of the council chambers and then started knocking on the door trying to em enter the speaker's chambers. And uh, the ANC and the EFF caucuses still not allowing it to proceed unless it's by a secret ballot. We understand that the reason why they may be trying to get into the speaker's chambers is that there is a rumor going around that the speaker is currently swearing in the chair of chairs, uh, Colleen Makobela. She was nominated, her nomination confirmed by uh, the mayor in Popalatse and then seconded by Funzi Ngobeni. Ngobeni and um, that means that without the nomination from the ANC EFF candidate, Councillor Khadebe being confirmed, uh, Ms. Makubele would have been sworn in, uncontested, as the chair of chairs. Let's speak to the provincial secretary of the IFP in Gauteng, Mr. Alko Ngobese. Mr. Ngobese, thank you so much for, for your time. So we're hearing that the chair of chair may be sworn in already. What do you know? Yeah, no, no the, chair of chair, uh, the chair of chairs has been confirmed. Uh, she was nominated, um, seconded, and she accepted the nomination. So, yeah, we, 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 we have done with that position. And what, what do you have to say about what's happened here this afternoon into this evening? Well, obviously, as the IFP, we are very disappointed um, how the public reps are, are behaving, you know. Uh, it's a sad day for the voters of the city of Johannesburg to see their rep re representatives behaving in the manner that they behave. Um, it, it's very, very unfortunate. But people must then judge them of what they are doing on the floor. But... As the IFP, we are very, very disappointed. And as the IFP, what do you believe should happen now? Well, I, I think we should proceed. I, I mean, we've been here the whole day. Councillors are here. And we should proceed and, uh, uh, until the last vote because we cannot afford um, the few individuals to hold the, the entire council ransom because, because of, they, they, they don't have numbers. So we, we cannot allow that. All right, thank you so much. That's Mr. Alko Ngobese, he's the Provincial Secretary of the IFP. You'll see in uh, the corner just over there the Democratic Alliance and the Multi-Party Coalition Council. Councillors are huddled up. That's uh, where they've made those nominations from. Shahan, there's still a bunch of nominations uh, for chairperson positions to go, so there's still a lot of work that uh, this council has to do. And even though the singing may have stopped uh, for now, the dancing may have stopped, there is still some resistance to uh, a vote happening by an open show of hands. The ANC and the EFF, at the least, are very concerned uh, that that will happen, and they're insisting on the secret ballot. In fact, one of the ANC councillors just a bit earlier pretended to be the speaker sitting in the speaker's chair and pretended to give the secret ballot uh, uh, confirmation. I mean, there was a lot of laughter from their caucuses, but there is no sign of the real speaker, Vasco da Gama. He's still in his chambers, and it's unclear when he will come out, if he will come out, and if this meeting will continue. It's really sad that we see this happen. It might uh, you know, seem funny right now, but these are the people who were actually put into these positions after South Africans voted, hoping that they would work in their best interests. Uh, let's talk about why the Democratic Alliance wouldn't want a secret ballot if it's so confident that it has the necessary support in this council, especially when it comes to this multi-party coalition. The reason they put forward is that it uh, was precedent that uh, elections for the chairpersons of oversight committees and the chairpersons of the chairpersons of oversight committees, the chair of chairs position, has always happened by an open show of hand. Um, and they agree that the Municipal Structures Act is vague on whether or not it allows for a secret ballot. But Vasco da Gama, the speaker, insisting that he won't, he won't grant uh, a secret ballot for that. And anyone who doesn't agree is, fair, is uh, free to appeal the decision at the Rules Committee or take it to court. That's the only reason we've heard from the Democratic Alliance led multi-party coalition on why they want the open uh, show of hands uh, vote. 
But we know, of course, there was a rumor a little bit earlier that the EFF were trying to woo Action SA, trying to get some of their votes on side so that they could shift the, the outcome of those elections. Uh, we understand the EFF will be contesting through the EFF ANC caucus with their different candidates for those positions of, of chairpersons of oversight committees. And there was some trepidation from the multi-party coalition about whether or not the EFF was successful in bringing some of those Action SA councillors over. Of course, then immediately after this rumor surfaced, John Moody went to the multi-party coalition and reassured them that's not happening. No Action SA councillors would default to the EFF um, and vote for their candidates. And nevertheless, the multi-party coalition is not keen on an open show of hands uh, to vote. They're opposing the secret ballot, while the ANC and the EFF is demanding one and say they're willing to stay in this chamber all night to get it. Yeah, all right, and we will be there as well to try and monitor the situation. We'll leave it right there. We'll get updates from Govan Whittles throughout the evening.